Hello, uh, today we're going to take a look at copying and pasting in Microsoft Word. So if we're in Word right now, of course, uh, we're going to start out with Word. We're working on our clipboard. The clipboard is the sys part of this Windows system that stores data that we can copy and paste. So let's take a sample of if we had a sentence. So, if I have a sentence and I want to copy that, I have to click, drag, and release to highlight the sentence. And then I can go up and see these icons on the home tab right here. I can have cut, copy, and paste. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a macro there. I apologize. So, I have cut, copy, Okay, so let's say that I want to make a duplicate copy of this sentence. So I would click Copy. Then I would move my cursor. See, I hit uh, Enter twice there. And then I would click Paste. And that's the simplest paste operation that I can do. Okay, now let's say that I just, I want to not make a duplicate copy of that sentence. I want to uh, delete that sentence. I want to erase it. And I want to move the sentence somewhere else. So instead of copying, I want to cut. So I would click cut. I would go ahead and delete the sentence I did earlier. I'd move the cursor somewhere else. <coughs> then I would click paste. Okay, so those are the simplest uh, copy, copper, uh, cut, cut, copy, and paste operations that we can do. Let's do it a little bit faster though. Okay, so I can highlight a sentence, right click, copy, put the click and put the cursor somewhere else, right click, and now I have paste options. Okay, keep sort of sorting, merge, merge from any, and keep text only. I usually hit keep text only. Okay, and that's a quicker paste operation as well. It's also the same thing for cut. I can highlight, right click, right click in the selected area, cut, click somewhere else to move the cursor. Notice that it's not where my mouse is. I'm not pasting where my mouse is. I'm pasting where the cursor is when I'm in that single document. Right click and paste text only. Okay, so those are those are operations with text inside the Word document. But what if I want to get a little bit <coughs> more advanced, or what if I'm doing a project that requires uh, images or text from the internet? Okay, so say that I'm typing, and let's say that I have a specific font that I'm using, and I'm typing in. something that's a little bit off. So I'm typing in Algerian here. Okay, and I've typed a lot of sentences, of course, because I'm uh, working on this term paper. <coughs> okay, so I had this sentence, these sentences I typed. Now let's say that I go on the to get some text off the internet. So for example, this is just an example here. I would highlight that text in my browser, right click in the selected area, choose copy. Now I can go into Word and I have a couple of different options. Let's say that I want to paste the text. I right click. Now I have some paste options. So watch what Word does for me. I highlight over on my keep source for a minute. Notice that text that I'm pasting in looks very different than the text around it. Maybe I was typing in an Algerian font, but the text I'm pasting in itself is bolded, and it has different, different formatting. I can merge formatting. Notice that keeps some of the aspects of the stuff that I was, uh, was pasting, and some of the aspects of the text I'm pasting will continue. Or I can go to keep text only, and that matches the formatting that I was using in the text surrounding what I'm pasting in. So notice the difference. So that's, uh, that is what I ended up doing there. I would click Paste Text Only. Uh, if I would have gone in and said, you know, Paste, so if I would have done Keep Source Formatting, that's what it would have looked like. And these, these previews are just kind of nice. Okay, so let's say that I have pasted in something. I plan to, you know, of course, change the text later because I need to make more image files. But let's say I want to taste the, paste the same image, though, and of course I'm going to do Google Credit for it. 
be on the image that we want. I will position my cursor inside the document, right click, and now I have these same paste options. So if I click, oops, wrong button, I click on paste tool. Okay, so let's um, right click. be some kind of web element that we cannot copy and paste. So let's go down here. And then look under paste options. Okay, let's just go and maybe I would just want the Google logo. So let's uh, right click on the Google logo, copy image. That's what I should be looking for. Copy image. I'm going to go over, right click. Now I get the same type of paste options. Okay, so if I click keep source formatting, that's what I made in the image. If I right click, I can just do keep text only. That's what I made in the image URL. So of course in this case I want to do keep source formatting. I'm going to close my parentheses, Google. Okay, so this has been an introduction to cut, cut copy and paste. I hope it's helpful. Good luck.